Previously on Interiors by Design, the contestants visited one of Nigeria's top fashion retail stores, Grey Velvet, and the yummy bakery Nuts About Cakes, designed by mentor and lead judge Titi Fowura. If I sends Lekon home as the weakest link, I think Lekon should go back to the And Umi's team won. A couple of episodes ago, we had the losing team nominate or put up for elimination the person that they thought was the weakest link, and that became very, very dramatic. It wouldn't have been very easy for me to decide who to go home. That's a lot of responsibility anybody should take. Someone that was in the bottom but had immunity, which was Ife, we had her nominate out of her two counterparts or teammates who she thought should go home, which was Likon, and she actually more or less sent Lekon home. Ife, we're going to give you the chance to let us know who is going to go back to the drawing board today. Lekon should go back to the drawing board. I actually worked against it. But you know, when you're working in a group, you have to accommodate everybody's ideas. And then this episode, honor to them for bringing Lekon back. I love a good twist. Okay, contestants. The competition gets tough and the contestants got the shock of their lives as Lacon returns to the competition. Your family member's back. <laughs> the idea is, as the mentor, I'm allowed one save, and I've decided to use my one save on Lacon. So let's just see how that works out in terms of the dynamics. Basically, the mentor is entitled to one save for the entire season, and I've decided to use my save to bring Lacon back. So, Lacon, join your people. Welcome back. You guys, they brought your, you brought your friend back. I mean, how? How's that? So what's up with this new challenge? You guys, you guys, you guys don't know what to expect. So we know it's going to be something about kids. So you guys, do you think? Did you guys think you're ready? Ready. All right then. On three, on three. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Interiors by design on three. One, two, three. <laughs> On today's episode, the contestants will learn about one of the most important parts of interior design in any home, the kitchen. From an interior design point of view, the kitchen is one of the most difficult rooms to design properly in terms of the technique. It is a place where you have a lot of artisans that need to get things right in a precise order. You've got plumbers, electricians, and all kinds of workmen running around. Today, we're Luca Visage Scavellini to look into the art of the kitchen, the heart of the home. I'm looking forward to what today is going to be about because I've seen the kitchens and hopefully I'm hoping for the best. We're getting to a point where we're looking at the design holistically with my background. I think that is an area of strength for me. The contestants are taken in by the beautiful kitchen showroom by Kunle Dina of Scavolini, the leading specialist interior designer who has designed some of the grandest, luxurious, and most functional kitchen spaces, shared his trade secrets with the contestants. Let's hope they're paying attention. So this is Mr. Kunle Dina. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for having us, Mr. Dina. It's a pleasure. So how do you think is the best way to approach kitchen design? For the kitchen, you've got 
first of all, to understand who owns this kitchen. Yeah. That's the most important element. Who is using this kitchen? Mm -hmm. For example, I mean, there's some kitchen maker that used to make kitchen on Wall Street that has to live with you for 40 hours wow. before he even Recommend attempts to conceptualize design. and design your kitchen because he needs wow. to know you in and out. So first of all, it's that person's lifestyle. Yes. The second thing is the available space that you have to work with. Mm -hmm. so you know. Constraints. Your constraints, your architectural constraints, yeah. your, you know, where your windows are, where your mm -hmm. doors are, and so on. And then thirdly, the client's preferences. Yeah. What do they like? What style do they like? Is it contemporary? Is it traditional? Is it classical? Sometimes we don't pay enough attention to lighting in a mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular technique to lighting your kitchen properly? Lighting in your kitchen is similar to lighting in any space, mm. you know. Um, as well, because you're going to have multiple layers of lighting. Yeah. Okay. You're going to have your ambience lighting, uh -huh. okay. right? Which is just to make the place look beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. So if you have a classical kitchen, for example, like this one, and where you don't have this hood arrangement here, mm -hmm. you could have a chandelier dropping from the ceiling, okay. which is just for the beauty and the aesthetics, Decorative, right? Yeah. And then you're going to have your functional lights. Okay. For instance, you can see some lighting the underneath down this, the down lights, which yeah. focus on your work area. Yeah. You can have that everywhere, actually, okay. underneath all your cabinets. Okay. Like I said, you are the kitchen guru. So will you take us around, show us some of what you have here? That's, I'm actually looking forward to that. For sure. You can see it's got your sink area, mm. you know, which is your washing area, your cleaning area. That's the last part of your triangle. Yeah. And everywhere in between is for preparation, preparation, you know, so if we move all this out, you can do all your cutting here and, and mixing and all of that and garnishing. And then for we Nigerians who cook spicy food and foods with lots of lovely, nice scents smells. and smells uh, and so on, we've got the extractor hood that helps to ventilate and take everything outside. In terms of your cabinetry, of course, there are quite a lot of systems that you can have. We call them systems. We have got 1.5 million of those on our system, on 1. our computer. 1.5 million, million things that we can pick and put in a kitchen. This is another kitchen that a lot of Nigerians like. Once you understand the fundamentals of, of design, design yeah. and you imbibe it, then people are gonna invite you to apply design, that intuition in all kinds of situations, right? Okay. You can have all kinds of... Uh, oh. okay. I know you will like that. This will be your utensils rack, for example. Just right there. It's right there on your island where you prepare your food. So you've got a set of knives, you've got nutcrackers, wine Just openers. everything you need in there. You know, basically, and then it's been so, made such that you, everything has its own position. So you don't lose the so things. So you can't lose them. We probably have a hundred different elements like this that you can, <laughs> that you can install, including dish racks and pot yeah. racks and so on and so forth. I mean, I've got loads of surprises if you want to see Is some more. more? <laughs> There are quite a few more. You can push the one in front of you there, if you want. Push, push the push, button. Push the nudge. Right. right. So this is this, <laughs> this is the idea of just using all the space. Absolutely. You can. I mean, and think about it. The kitchen is a place where you have little bits, spices, all of that. The stainless steel design as the backdrop for the sink and then the cooker. I was wondering, stainless steel conducts heat. What informed that decision? That's a good question. What you find out is that, you know, when you do design, generally, it's always an optimization thing. You're balancing aesthetics with durability, with cost, with heat conduction, and so on. Right, so in this case, stainless steel is perhaps the most durable material you can have. And that's why if you go into any professional kitchen, in fact, every single thing in that space will be it's stainless, stainless steel. steel. So you're still gonna have your heat conduction, but you are prioritizing durability over and above that. So that's what you're getting here. However, you're also lucky because you have an extractor hood, which takes out your vaporized smoke, takes out your vaporized oil, takes out your smells, but it also takes out the heat. heat. And if you have the right kind of appliances, for example, some appliances are actually tailored to heat specific spaces. They're not going to have any extra heating beyond that. If you're using an induction hub, for example, which is magnetic, it's, if you put this, a pot this size on top of it, 
That's all it hits. That's all it would hit. Yeah. If you take it out, it becomes cold. You can touch it immediately. <laughs> Technology and design and so on. You can have all your needs met. You want steel, you don't want heat. Do Combine. It. it will happen. It will be done. Wow, there's so much. Like I said, I mean, I said at the beginning, you know, there's a lot of detail that goes into kitchen, but you know, you've even shown us a bit more detail. Of so course. thank you very much, Mr. Dina, for having us here today. The pleasure thank is ours. Uh, we're very happy to have you. Keep your design dreams going. Keep it alive. Nigeria needs designers that are committed and yep. passionate and competent. Work hard, be focused, and you know, you can become anything that you want to become. off to Decor and Rainbow, a renowned interior design school where interior experts and the best of the best are trained. Today, they will be lectured and taught by Damilola Akinayo, an expert in computer-aided design. I love art and I have a really soft spot for interior design because a building without a lovely interior is just a shell. This show, I would say it's a nice thing because I wildly thought about it a long time ago that when would somebody just wake up one day and just shoot a, an interior design reality show? And it was nice. So this afternoon, we're at Deco Rainbow Creative Agency. Today, we'll be looking at AutoCAD and SketchUp, but bearing in mind that there are other kinds of software that an interior designer can use, for example, 3D Max and Revit. Earlier on, we were looking at kitchens. So we're going to use a kitchen design as the template for learning the fundamentals of computer-aided design. Interior design is a field that allows a lot of people to come. It doesn't matter what field you're in. It's not a field alone for architects. Most people feel just because interior design happens to deal with buildings, it's just the preserve of an architect. I really don't think so. We have right now, we have AutoCAD. AutoCAD is made by Autodesk Incorporated USA. It's one, it's one of the oldest CAD softwares in the world. You also have, let's find 3D Max. There's also another software called Maya. This is a kitchen that has been isolated from a penthouse. I'm going to save it now because I want to import into SketchUp. So AutoCAD has closed. We have SketchUp. Okay. SketchUp is made by Google. This is the usual interface. That this is a little bit of. This is Betty, or the name they give her. <laughs> you always open up a SketchUp file with Betty or a human figurine. There. The reason is this also helps as a sort of ruler or reference scale point. reference. So what I would do right now is come over to the import yeah. under the file menu, come to import, options, very important. It's telling you here, import AutoCAD DWG slash DXF. That's another file format only from AutoCAD. Okay. So we have it here. Now you have options. Just to ensure that I don't affect my plan, usually it's just advisable to right click okay. on it and lock. What I mean by locking it down is whatever I'm doing in this drawing will not affect it per se. What I would love to do right now is see how this kitchen would look if it were made realistic okay, okay. by modeling it out. Try mm -hmm. and create a photorealistic output, which yeah. is called a render. Render. So what would be the next step? What we're going to do is start with a wall, okay. a wall area, try and do one cabinet area and we allow the students to use what they are accustomed to to achieve their We can start up in pieces or so what I'll do here is let me start with this wall. I'm pulling this wall up. The standard wall is three meters or in millimeters is three thousand mm. But this software is ready in mm so I'm going to work with that. I pull this up and I can just that's it, voila. Now I've drawn a 1,200 mm, that's 1 1.2. Which is a nice standard size for yes, kitchen cabinet. What would you like the drawer cabinet here to be? How high would you want it to be? 250. 250, okay, cool. Why? So that I'll be based on, you pick the 900, so I'm just thinking since you've already removed the bottom, to okay. so be able to do like three. Okay, that's, so that's three good. Three drawers. Usually it's safer for you to have your tape measure by the side. I, mm -hmm. It's a habit I learned working with interior design, not architects. Yes. So I'm going to make my quick cabinets. 
and then I would love to type in 18 mm. This is the most used tool here, and I can also always come over to yeah and okay. give it a finish paint bucket. You wait for it to load, and that's one of the things that makes SketchUp so good. Nice so. and easy. So in SketchUp, you could literally even just put the different yes. finishes on your different fabrics. So I will work on mine. You guys get to yours. So I wish you guys all the best. Today's challenge involves rendering a kitchen space. How prepared are these interiors by design contestants? We're going to give you time to work on your kitchens. Remember what we learned today. I mean, bear in mind some of those seemingly simple techniques, but that's what makes a difference. You know, we talked about the triangle. We talked about thinking about the client and what they need the space to do, how they live. That needs to translate into our design. We're not designing in a vacuum. It's always for someone. Okay, so okay. let's look at what they've done. I think she was playing around with some sections as well. You can see that plan. Yeah, elevation, she did. So showing dimension. Okay. It's a small it's space. And I think she's trying to put a sink, a in, sink in the island. So it looks good, but in practical terms, would it really work? No. However, it I is. think there's a bit of a, a discrepancy because in the floor oh, plan, the door swings, swings that way. way. So but she's, she's just sketched it wrong. I think is this is Lacon's work. I like the fact that they're now remembering to incorporate everything we've learned. We've, we've, That's we've quite amazing. Them. It's, it's cool. nice. I like the pops of, of color. color there and then bringing in the elements of what they've used. Okay. So at least he's doing detail, which is good because and if we were to build that, yeah. yeah. That's what the contractor will work off of. If I is even giving us Client. detail. Nice couple, they look oh, happy. Hello. Okay, fashion. Our suits <laughs> going on. She did the triangle. Yeah, the triangle, the kitchen triangle. Finally, somebody <laughs> remembered the triangle. She changed the door as oh, well, that's which nice. is quite clever. I haven't seen one of these in, in a long, long time. time. It makes my heart glad <laughs> that people they're still so good. do. They're just, there's something about an yes, asymmetric that just kind of captures the space here. It's almost the only way you can see them in a particular. Yeah. Okay, yes, and nice. this is his render. Yes. This is very contemporary as well. Yeah, wood. Helps the kitchen to look bigger. Bigger, yes. That's mm -hmm. good. He's given us two views, so well, you I get think. a good sense yes. of it. And that's all that's from nice. Tyre. Not bad at okay. all. So this is Umi. This view is... Not bad, but the render, I don't know. It's, I think it's the choice of the view. Well, that one. Where we are. Like what are we looking yeah. at? I feel this is too, that floor it's too, way is too, too much. much for the kids. It's a it's small strong. space. It's looking more like um, a bar. Chapman. I don't feel this is a residence. This feels like a swing club. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's party. <laughs> don't mind the, the color choice. What do you yeah, guys I think? think? It's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. He matched it well. This is sure. I like the it's color. Nice. Yeah, and for a small space, it works. White and I love makes the choice bigger. Of the window the window, yes. It's a bit busy, but because he can get away with it because everything, everything else, else is white. Flat. So yeah. if you'd use that in a different color, but the, the trick, white is not it's blinding. Not a, it's not it's offensive. Not one, yes. And even if it's all white, it's not cold at all. It's yes, it because there's place. enough color. That's what brown and cream and does. Yeah. Beach everything. In terms of look, yeah, I really like tires. Mm hmm and Shaun's tire, his presentation skills were top notch. Top. Mm -hmm. So if these drawings were to go if straight you send them to the architects, anywhere, they can build that kitchen yeah. right now. The architects the can use it, the clients can use can it, designers it, yeah. can understand yeah. it. Yeah. 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 kitchen for me is a no. I mean, I, I just, wouldn't want to cook here or anything. Yeah. It's just the colors are off. My best definitely has to be tire. tire. For me, it just tells me everything I need to know. I mean, whether for a technical person or layman, you get it. It's no, just I'm so clean. Just it's crisp. My least no. favorite, I would say, it's actually between a fair and Umi's or like from a fair. I wanted. Mm. We would have loved to like feel the panorama. How would you? Mm. Uh, but really, in the end, she still yeah. She got me with sketches. Yeah. She got me with her technicality. So. My words definitely has to be Umi's because I don't even get what. Yeah, there's just no, there's not, nothing happening. Yes. Of course, like you guys know, <laughs> some of us will continue on to the next episode, and some of us wouldn't, or well, someone wouldn't. Tayo, congratulations! You are moving on to the next episode. Yeah. Vivian, yeah, Joe, nice. moving on to the next episode. Liko. <laughs> 
you're safe to go into the next episode. As I said, this is a competition mm -hmm. and some people get to stay and some people have to go home. But don't take it too hard. You, whatever you've gotten on the show, you can take it outside and take it into your practice. The task was to design. Yes. More of, and I understand that. So if I have a certain period of time, I would usually want to use, um, I mean, I can do 3D, but I would usually want to use what's my, where my strengths lie okay. and what's like, what I can finish. I mean, Danny, half baked 3D. That's why I did try okay, to do sketches yeah. so you could get yes, the concept, okay. and I try to pull the audience along. For us, as you know, interior designers or as professionals, it was refreshing to yes. see what yes. it was. I mean, I like seeing hand sketches and three point perspectives, but like Mr. Dami was saying, for the client, mm -hmm. it might not always translate as well. I know we said do a three dimension or any kind of, you know, 3D, but because it was a technical, technical challenge, right. it would have been yeah, nice to see it. just one. Umi, your kitchen. I'm not going to say that it was bad, but it wasn't for the client that you had in mind. I think it would work more like for a bar setting. What happened? No plan. Mrs. Four asked us to bring a three-dimensional three three dimensional plan with different, with three views. I had the plans, but okay. I just did not submit it because we were not asked okay. for that. Yeah. I take on um, okay. what she's saying. I didn't even say how many views, but the task was a three-dimensional drawing. Okay. But I don't even think we're judging based, based on, on the that. lack of a plan, to be fair. So be don't, fair. don't worry no, about no. that. We know you have to have a plan to have done the yes. 3D. I just want to know, who were you designing your kitchen for? I had in mind was someone I know. Okay. She's organized, mid-level management. There's something particular about her. She likes pastries. If you look at the kitchen, it's, it's, it's yummy. Your design was clear. And the fact that Saru asked you that and you were clear, it was almost like you went somewhere in your mind. And you know, I keep saying that you have to tie it in. We don't design in a vacuum. Who are you designing for? So you have to get to know your client. Ife, you're going to be moving on to the next level. And Umi, um, Unfortunately, you're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Uh-oh! Umi gets the hit this time, and it's back to the drawing board for her. I guess my 3D design had too many elements, as they said. I feel very happy that they particularly liked the design, because those colours are not my kind of colours. Tyo killed it. It was crisp, clean. To be honest with you, I would build Tyre's kitchen in a heartbeat. I was really impressed with what the contestants have done. I mean, they're learning so much and we can see it. It's really gratifying for me to see how they're growing. Today we had to let go of Umi. My brother, it is shocking. Uh, it's shocking because she was one of the most vibrant contestants in terms of personality. Umi can present her ideas. But this show is a competition and you need to be learning, you need to be getting better. The thing that really worked against us today was the fact that you know, we did not defend immediately, we did not defend the works. The, we, the judges wanted the works to speak for themselves. Lacon too, his own presentation was welcoming, it was believable and he showed as many elements. Lacon came back and he has moved to the next round like you know, he just breezed through like fire and I'm like, ah, bugger. <laughs> you know, it's going to be hotter than ever. With one of the contestants gone again, tension filled the hearts of the contestants. Who goes home next? What will happen in next week's edition of Interiors by Design? Don't miss out. Share your thoughts on social media with the hashtag back to the drawing board. We would like to hear from you. Follow us on Red TV, Interiors by Design, for more engaging updates. Tune in next week for more on Interiors by Design.